Hey there everybody, wanted to introduce you to the 2020 Global Game Jam in Nashville, Tennessee mascots. On the left we have Quaver, who has the Nash Game Dev logo, and her name is Quaver because her hair is shaped like an eighth note, and that's the name of that shape, is Quaver. And on the right we have a character I just call Guy, and he has the Global Game Jam logo and they're wanting to welcome you to the game jam hosted in nashville tennessee january 31st through february 2nd by the nashville game developers we are hosting this as part of a large international event and finally the goofiest mascot of all that i'd like to introduce you to is me john gale your organizer for the nashville jam site how's everybody doing wanted to give you number nine update for what's going on with the global game jam and so what do we want to talk about in today's update video brain well the same thing we talk about every update video pinky and that is getting our global game jam site funded through this GoFundMe campaign. Link is going to be in the video description. We are still sitting at the same amount since my last video, $3,041, and we were only less than $500 away from meeting that goal. And the way we can do this is if 100 people, which is only 10% of our Facebook group, go out to GoFundMe right now and give $5, boom, we're done. Or if you could ask the company you work for or maybe local businesses where you shop to be a sponsor of the event for $125, we just need four of those, and then boom, we're done. The event's funded. I can start sleeping better at night. Now, there are a lot of sponsors that we've been thanking in these videos. Last time, I gave a shout-out to Black Box Realities and thanking them for being a sponsor. And I wanted to share some information I didn't have time to in the last video. I'm going to put some links in this video description. The first is of a survey that we'd like to ask you to take to help Black Box Realities out because they are offering Unity certification courses right here in Nashville. They're the only, my understanding, the only authorized Unity uh, certification trainer in the state of Tennessee right now. And I, I myself I'm a Unity user. I've looked at going to Atlanta to take some of these courses before, and so thankfully we finally have them here in Nashville. If you take this survey, you can and uh, submit your email address. My understanding is you can get a bit of a discount on the courses. But for the Nash Game Dev community, especially uh, Dan at Black Box Realities has offered us something really special, and I'm going to give you the link to their associate training. Uh, associate level Unity certification training that actually takes place the week before the game jam going from January 23rd through January 26th, which is my birthday. Never forget. It's usually on the game jam. I got lucky this year. And uh, so that does include some weekdays during the day from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m., uh, so if you've got the time and want to crash course the basics of Unity before the Game Jam, this is a great opportunity. And you can see the contact information there for Black Box, which I'm going to put in the video description as well. Now here's what uh, Dan told me in an email about the offer that is available to the Nash Game Dev community. They've got the four-day course to get the Unity Associate Certification the week before the Global Game Jam. That's what I've got on the screen. And they'll probably have the same course in a night class format the following week. So if you get done with the Game Jam and you're like, yeah, I want to get certified in Unity, there's your opportunity. And for the Nash Game Dev, what, they, what Black Box is offering is the first day of these associate classes. So in this case, January 23rd. Uh, that one day class will be free for members of the Nash Game Dev community as a sort of open house. So you can go try before you buy, which if you're not in the Nash Game Dev community, you're not getting that deal. So we're really lucky for Black Box to be offering this. Then if you want to come back and finish the rest of the course, you can pick up where you left off on day two and only pay for the last few days. So you're essentially getting a 25% discount which is pretty good because like i said i've looked at these courses 
in Atlanta and they've gone for like $5,000 for a week of courses. So Black Box is really offering us a deal here uh, compared to other Unity certification training sites and programs that I've looked into for myself. But this really is something, a really great deal that Black Box has cut for the community compared to other other training sites. Mm -hmm. I really like to encourage you to go at least take that survey. It only takes a minute. And then if you're serious about using Unity, get uh, explore that offer that they, they've offered us. You can try that first day for free. Try before you buy. And back to raising the money. So thanks to Black Box and all our donors for helping us hit that mark of $3,041. Uh, we're doing pretty good, but we still do need that, that last $500. And I'm going to prove that to you by showing you some of our expenses so far. These are the dates and the reasons and the expenses we've had. So if you look at that total there, we've already spent. This is money already paid. Um just shy of, of $2,000. So this, this is very much the real cost of running this event. Um, and before it was just volunteers. Now we have the nonprofit organization and we also need to fund that organization. But these are very real cost to hold this event in Nashville. None of this includes food or drink or snacks. We want to keep people uh, to help keep people going through the jam. So really do need your help going out to that GoFundMe and giving just that $5 donation. You'll get a t-shirt from a previous year if you're a donor on the GoFundMe or helping with sponsorships. Because when you look at this total, 3041 compared to the $2,000 we spend, you're probably thinking like, oh, they've raised it. They've taken care of their costs, whatever. They've done it. And that's not true. I'm the treasurer of Nash Game Dev and I'm looking forward over the year. And this is our only funding event so far as an organization and even going to the end of March when we have to do our annual filing with the state which has some expenses and other expenses for the game jam for the weekend itself like I'm I've got all my spreadsheets and I'm projecting that and we're already running a deficit we're already running in the red for spending uh, for the jam and for the organization's expenses through March so I'm not I'm not kidding that we really do need the help raising this money. And if, if we hit the $3,500 goal, that just funds the jam. We could really use more than that to fund Nash Game Dev as an organization throughout the year. So, you know, help us out with that. At the very least, go share the GoFundMe with the people you know and on your social media to help us get that funded. Now, I told you on the expense slide that we had paid for the t-shirts so really excited a long time i've been promising this it is time to reveal the design for the 2020 global game jam nashville t-shirts and boom there we are that's our t-shirt design for 2020 if you registered before january the 8th on the event bright you're an early bird registrant you get a free t-shirt guaranteed in your size that's be sure to pick that up on Friday, January 31st, because come Saturday, February 1st, right when we open up in the morning, all remaining t-shirts will be available for free to registered jammers who did not get one. So uh, even if you haven't registered yet, you still have a chance for a t-shirt. I want to take just a minute to talk about the t-shirt design. I want to thank Corey Martin and uh, Javen Stone for helping us. Uh, design the t-shirt. Corey did the sprites and Javen did the uh, the rest of the art based on the design idea I gave him. What I wanted to express with this design is you see the characters there they're well I think they're 8-bit but uh, the uh, guy on the right he was supposed to be like Atari graphics and Quaver on the left, she was supposed to be 16-bit, but we only have three colors to work with, so we kind of got the same idea that they hold the energy of, you know, Nashville game developers on the left and the Global Game Jam on the right, and we bring those together and collaborate and create that synergy, that creative collaborative energy to make something greater than ourselves, which is the 2020 Global Game Jam. So that was sort of the thought process 
behind the design and really uh, happy with how it turned out. So like I said, if you didn't register before January the 8th, that is okay. There's still a chance there'll be some t-shirts left over, but everybody, regardless of the date, if you come in on site to participate in the Global Game Jam, you do have to register on the Eventbrite. We need your age because everyone under 18 has to be with a parent or guardian at all times, and we need you to legally agree to the code of conduct of the global event, the Global Game Jam itself. So the link to this Eventbrite will also be in the video description for you to register. Now a couple more updates. Volunteer registration is also open. We need a few good volunteers to help us carry boxes, get people checked in, help clean up and unpack from the event. And just the posting I've done so far in Nash Game Dev, we do have some people signed up. Looking at the abbreviations, John Saba, Corey Martin, Megan Connor have already signed up to help for the opening. So we need people again staffing these positions and where you can help is you can sign up as a volunteer at the link in the video description or help me share the word. Let's go get on Twitter like I do in every video and let's tweet this out. I've said already on Twitter that you can join the cool kids. Corey Martin, Megan at Fruit Vandal and John S at Orange Table by volunteering for the 2020 Global Game Jam in Nashville. There's the sign up link right there. And official hashtags GGJ20 for the Global Game Jam 2020 and our hashtag Nash Game Dev. Tweet that out, sign up, and we'll know. We'll see with that hashtag whether or not you're one of the cool kids, part of the Nash Game Dev scene. Oh, yeah. Okay, finally, I'm recording this Tuesday, January 14th, which is my brother's birthday. Any other January genius birthdays out there? Excited to see what we make at the game jam uh so tomorrow night january 15th at the city winery is this event one up sort of a little mini conference a look at the world of esports and gaming in tennessee some of us from the nash game dev board are going to be there networking and trying to drum up some last minute buzz for the global game jam so i'm going to put the direct link that says you can go to citrywinery.com to get tickets but you got to click through all this stuff and find the event i'm going to give you the direct link to the event to buy your tickets be sure to be a part of this this exciting networking event going on for gaming right here in the music city of nashville okay guys that's about all i have for this video again your action items are to go out to the gofundme make sure that you're registered on the event right and sign up to volunteer because we need people to volunteer because there's not a whole lot of time left before the global game jam comes to nashville tennessee January 31st through February 2nd, 2020. I will see you in a future video.